morning guys. I'm definitely hurting. <laughs> um, I slept quite a while. I don't know exactly how long, but a long time. And uh, I'm going to pack up and go to the ranger station see if I can get out of here. And that's pretty much it. <sighs> that's all I can say. Hopefully my knees and feet and everything hold up because my knees have been, I don't know if I mentioned it, but my knees have been bugging me too uh, coming down that pass, so. <sighs> Not the greatest trip. What were your names again? I'm Larry. Larry? I'm <laughs> Gary. What's Gary. Your, what's yours? I'm John. Nice to meet you, John. Nice to meet you, too. Your so we can take a oh, you're good. Where are you guys from? We're from, uh, I'm from, we're brothers. I'm from Portland, Oregon. Okay. And he's from, uh, well, how about you? Yeah. Everybody's from, there's so many people from all different oh, places. I know, right from all over the world even, it's amazing. Isn't it, it, kinda, it is amazing. Isn't it kind of cool meeting the different people? Oh, it is. Well, it seems like it is. one thing we've been enjoying on our journey so far is, <coughs> is the, like the people we meet, kind of the positive energy and stuff that you, you kind of get from the people you meet. Just yeah. Cool. yeah, yeah. It's funny because like <coughs> I'm an introvert, so normally I wouldn't even, you know, engage in conversation much with uh -huh. people I don't know. But out on the trail, it's all different. Because <laughs> we all kind of share stuff, don't we? Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, it's like a family. <laughs> it, it, exactly right. It's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's so it cool. is. Yeah. I think too, people don't get out here. You're not comparing because we all do it differently. Yeah. You know, it's just it's just everybody your commonality like Larry said. You can enjoy it. You can make it. Yeah. Yeah, I get into this kind of stuff and I, I feel like I can have my camera out the whole time. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I have a GoPro too. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I take pictures and I take video and cool. put them together and throw it up on YouTube. Dang, I would hate to have to wade that. Look at all that moss and stuff. Like walking in wet feet. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. 
What'd you guys think of Pinchot Pass? <laughs> We seem to have the hardest trouble with with game pads. And the elevation game wasn't as much. I don't know if it was just because of the way we were feeling. But we noticed that it was uh, really rocky and sharp rocks. Oh yeah. So it was hard, hard to you know your your comfort right now. Have you had a pass that was the hardest for you yet? Or? Uh, I think Pincho Pass was the hardest for me. Okay. It, it seemed like it never ended. Oh my gosh, that's what everybody keeps saying. Including myself. <laughs> Everybody has the same con uh, uh, oh, what's the word? Consensus about Pincho Pass, and that it was really hard, and <laughs> it never seemed to end. <laughs> oh yeah, I think so too. The only guy who thought differently was a PCTer, and I'm like. Well, that figures. <laughs> oh my God. So if you, uh, if you get off trail, where, where are you going to do it at? Well, I'm trying to figure out if I need to, because I'm having some feet issues too and stuff, okay. and my knees are starting as well, and I'm uh -huh. a little concerned about that. Yeah. Uh, and it's, I think it's because I went from all the way from the other side of Glen Pass all the way down to Woods Creek and all that downhill just pounded my joints into pulp. Yeah. And so I'm going to talk to the ranger because okay. the only way out from here right now is to Boost Creek. And even though the four miles to the top, they say, is, is gradual, the eight miles down is 6,000 feet in elevation oh. drop. I'm like, yeah, I don't think my body can withstand that. <laughs> that is a long, long way down. <laughs> it is a long way down. We, we talked to some people that came down, because uh, we used to fly to Independence. Uh -huh. And there, there was a, like three people that, that went down Shepherd Pass. Most people go down Curse uh, uh, Pass. Uh huh. Which was long enough, but yeah. Shepherd's Pass was 6,000 feet down. And they were saying, oh my gosh, they would never have done it again. Oh yeah, I've heard bad things about Shepherd too. <laughs> they said that there was one place that it was uh, where they had, where there was like snow and like a sheet. It had melted out enough that it wasn't that tough to cross, but there had been, they said they got to the bottom and there was a bunch of dead deer. Oh. That had tried, you know, probably when there was more snow and it was ice frozen. Like, yeah. and all the way to the bottom and they said it was really strong. And, yeah. What a shame. I, I had heard about, uh, heard about that. The first one that, uh, I heard about was the one on Bishop Pass that happened earlier this year. They lost like a hundred deer. It was terrible. Uh, same type of issue. They slipped and fell and, um, some people came across them and uh, some weren't even dead and so they had to put them out of their misery with their knife. <laughs> and then later on, same thing kind of happened with Shepherd. And I was like, crap, that's gonna put a big dent in the population. That's a lot of deer. It's probably deer I've seen. Yeah, I've seen a, a, a few, but I haven't seen a whole lot. Last year I saw a whole herd of them. Yeah. When, um, because I was, I was doing a, a, a section uh, from uh, going over New Army out Kearsarge and in between Tyndall Creek and Forrester, there was a whole bunch of them, including, I think it was four bucks. And that was, it's, I, I don't often see bucks. <laughs> yeah. You know, I never really ever thought about really tripping on stuff like that. I never, it never even entered my mind. Yeah, I, I, I didn't know that that could happen to them. Cause, you know, they always seem so sure-footed. But I guess they all went limbing and did the same thing. It's a shame. Yeah, yeah, the person who uh, uh, who took a little video of the one at Bishop, they started crying. Oh, yeah. I can understand that because that's just, that's yeah. an awful sight to see. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, so I guess to finish answering your question, I'm going to talk to the ranger, see if I can't uh, 
uh, have him maybe call a pack station okay. and have them bring me in a horse. Okay. And failing that, maybe get you back in a helicopter. I hope it doesn't come to that. Because oh, yeah. that's a roll of the dice because you may or may not get the helicopter that you don't have to pay for. And I hear if you do have to pay for it, it's like 50 grand. <laughs> and I really don't want to have to go into 50 grand in debt. <laughs> Yeah, I, w I would have to make camp somewhere. But the question is, are there even places? Because, <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I'll talk to the ranger about that too. If there's places to make camp, then I can probably get myself out. Yeah. Yeah. But I can't do eight miles of steep downhill, 6,000 feet. That is crazy. Don't do the whole thing in one day, put it up to two or three, and then if you, you know, because it seems like even no matter what, you can usually find a place, uh, you may not be able to find a place to set your camp up. Yeah. But you might, you know, with the weather, it seems like it's been, obviously the clouds and a few drops in the afternoon, but it seems to be kind of clear off late in the evening. You could almost just, uh, like just cowboy camp. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I've been thinking too. Yeah. But I was like, that's a 12 mile day. <laughs> that's a really long day. Yeah, that's not good to, yeah. The trail we're on right now, this is this is good. I can do this. <laughs> yeah, this is nice, nice. Yeah. We have, you know, we're older, we're 63. Like the kind of downhill is hard stuff. Like, we got like those, you know, like most people are always like, start getting off dark lights and the knees. Yeah. So that downhill is a little tough on the knees. Yeah, whenever I see people that uh, that are, are, are your age or older, like I even met somebody who's like 85, you guys always inspire me. Because oh. I'm like, if they can do it, I can do it. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's, it's a little more work, but it's definitely, you know what I mean, it's worth it. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. I think the main thing is for people just to keep doing stuff. Yep. I think it's really important to keep the body active and in shape and yeah. I know it's really hard but it is. it's worth it. <laughs> That's exactly right. That's exactly right. That's what we keep saying about you know, you know, we have hard days and we go to bed at night and we're really tired and so your emotions start to go like this. Oh yeah. But then you wake up in the morning and you're back up here and you're ready to go. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. Yeah I'm pretty concerned about my pack though in that because uh, the particular part that is beginning to disintegrate. I, I, ha I have another pack just like this, and I did a full scale training hike on Paiute Pass um, not too long ago, okay. and that same part broke mm -hmm. and it put tremendous strain on the back. And I was like, yeah, I can't, I can't do the JMT with that. Yeah. That'll be really bad. Yeah. But and I don't know of any field fix. For it. And I've I've done field fixes on these packs before, mm -hmm. but that one I don't think I can do. It's just kind of like where it's back for the frame. Or... Uh, yeah, it's it's for the the hip belt because like this part here, I forget if it's this one or the other one. It's frame, and so when this snaps free, I lose that support. And that it puts it all on your shoulder. Yeah, it puts it all on one shoulder. <laughs> yeah. So that's not. That's not good. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, I, I had um, my shoulder straps break last year, okay. one on one pack and then two on uh, the other when I did my other trip, and I, I managed to repair those, okay. thankfully. They weren't always the most comfortable, but it worked, thank God. <laughs> Yeah, improvise, adapt, overcome. Yep. And, and I enjoy 
being able to figure that stuff out. But with this one, I'm not. I, I thought I thought about it pre-trip, and I was like, if that decides to go, I don't know how to fix that because <laughs> it would require like some more leather and strapping and heavy gauge needle, and that's not stuff I carry out here. Yeah, that's why I've been watching it because I'm like, I know they're old packs. I just, I just wanted to make sure that if that started happening, I was aware of it before it just snapped. <laughs> that could put me in a worse spot if I didn't pay attention. I mentioned I, I started feeling a, a raindrop and somebody else confirmed that at the top of the pass. Everybody, everybody was like, sleep, let's get off. <laughs> <laughs> yep. he, there's even a trail crew girl up there and she's like you know buds I, I i'm getting off right now so i'm like i guess that's my cue to leave yeah yeah, I got a little bit of rain, but I didn't have to put my pack cover on or my rain gear on. It wasn't that bad. And then it moved away from me. So. Yeah, because I, I, I have to drop pack to do it. And I'm like, no, nah, I don't want to do that. Plus, everything's fairly waterproofed in there already. So. Oh yeah. Uh yeah. Boy, that's handy. Yeah. It's like a supersized poncho. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, I've never had to use my pack cover, so I, I didn't know about that. <laughs> yeah, so that was one thing we were kind of trying to figure out. We have packed umbrellas. We're not really using them much now. But if you want to just keep that rain from going right down there, it would be nice. Yeah. I think it's going to be another warm one. Yeah, it sure is. I'm glad this trail hasn't been too bad. Yeah, First yeah. part was a little rough on me, but... Yeah, this is pretty nice. It is. Well, when the whole Sierra was like this. <laughs> exactly. Exactly right. But then anybody could do it. <laughs> Big Sur? Yeah. Uh, I don't think I was. Uh, I don't think I was there. Yeah, uh, about three hours away. Okay. You not so much. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> okay, Bench Lake fire is not permitted 1.5, so there should be another junction here somewhere. Because, or actually, it might be the second junction. So now this goes off to Bench Lake, obviously. But according to enough, I couldn't tell if the ranger station was at the first or the second junction because it's like right in between them. Yeah, there should be. It's probably only like another tenth of a mile, something like that.
I hope you have waterproof shoes. <laughs> oh no. Thank you.